Good morning, you fine people of the internet. The finest, the best, everybody knows it, believe me. You are the best people on the internet. I truly believe that. I actually have a really good audience that watches me every day. And thank you for all your comments down below as well. Always appreciate reading those. Uh, I do not always respond to them, but I go through them, I read them, I'm down there. Just got a lot going on every day and don't always have the time to respond to them all, but when I do have the time, I try to get down there and respond to as many as I can. So thank you for being involved. And thank you for sharing the videos. If you like them, hey, chances are your friends and family might like them too. Share it out on your Facebook, Twitter, whatever you like. I don't like Twitter at all. I think Twitter's a garbage platform. But if you're on Twitter and you like it, go for it. I do have a Twitter account. Links to all my social media are down below in the description of every video. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter. I'll let you know that now. Uh, what a garbage place that, that platform is. Just... But enough about that. Facebook isn't always the best either. I, I really think that social media is tearing our society apart and our ability to communicate with each other face to face because even I am very reluctant to talk to people on the phone already because I can just message them on social media or text them. Very rarely do I call people. And sometimes I'm like, when people call me, I'm like, why, why are you calling me? You could have just texted me. And then later on, I think to myself, oh no, I'm falling for the trap as well. I'm falling for the same thing. Social media is reducing our ability to communicate with each other. And Twitter is just a garbage place. Have I told you that already? <laughs> Where people who don't make any sense go to hang out and discuss matters that don't make sense within their own little bubbles and echo chambers. And then they believe the whole world is like that because everybody on Twitter thinks like them. So the whole world must think like them. No, that's just the people on Twitter. That's not representative of the world. <laughs> uh, I got a beef with them. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's get moving here. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's stop talking about this stuff. It makes me angry. <laughs> I want to be happy. Social media isn't bad, all bad. I mean, social media has gotten me in touch with you fine people as well, right? And that's the only way you and I can really connect. So social media is not all bad. Twitter is not all bad. I like Facebook a little bit better and it's not all bad either. It's just, uh, don't let it control your life. You know, still call people. Even if you're like me and really don't feel like talking on the phone. I am not a phone person at all. I have friends who like to talk on the phone for hours and hours about nothing. And I can't understand that. I don't like talking on the phone about nothing for hours. I mean, I call somebody for a purpose and a reason. And when I call them, I go through the regular pleasantries. Like, hey, how's it going? How's your day? How's this? How's that? That's good. All right, here's the point. All right, I said my point. I got my answer. We'll talk to you later. Take care, click, hang up. Uh, that's me on the phone. But, <laughs> maybe I do need to learn to be a little bit more social with people, because I can be very antisocial myself. I, I, can, I can easily, easily spend weeks and months, just me, like before I was married, just me, and be totally fine. Just talk to the people I have to, or you know, talk to my family every now and then, here and there. There's a few people here, but for the most part, just hanging out with myself. I go home, hang out with myself. Come into the truck, work by myself. And deliver my freight by myself. Go back home by myself. Hang out again by myself. And I'm happy doing that. I'm totally happy. But it's always good to have friends, and it's always good to socialize, even if you don't feel like it. That's my morning. Sometimes in the morning, my brain works a little bit differently and I start thinking a little bit more deeply about life. <laughs> Let's just get on the road. This is I'm getting too deep here. So from Whitewood, Saskatchewan here, we have four and a half hours back to our yard approximately. Then a couple hours after that, we'll be home. And I did want to stop at the gym yet today. I wonder if I can go tomorrow. What's tomorrow, Saturday? No, tomorrow I won't have any time because we'll be doing our donation run tomorrow. I gotta go today.
looks like we're racing the train. That guy's just giving her. Look at this. I'm going as fast as I can. Pretty much identical speeds. Looks like a whole uh, train of cars. I can't tell if there's anything in there or not, if they're em or if they're empty train cars. But uh, they usually put cars, like automobile cars and trucks in these trailers. I've been driving beside this guy for about a half hour already. The trains out in Canada are pretty long, I've heard. Apparently people from Europe have never seen such long trains before. It's common for a train to be, well I don't want to say for sure, I'm going to say like a half mile to a mile long. I don't know much about trains, so how about those of you who do know how long our trains are here in Canada? The average train, or the longest ones. Uh, let everybody know down below in the comment section. All I know is that they're really long, and waiting for them at an intersection can sometimes take a while. I guess it's the fastest way to move stuff across the country, because I'm just pulling one load behind me. This guy's pulling like a thousand. But it's much slower to use the train than to use the truck. And it's much more personal using me to deliver your stuff because I'll bring it right to your doorstep. The train, you gotta go get it at the train yard or go, gotta get somebody to go pick it up for you at the train yard then bring it to you. That's inconvenient. Why don't you just hire me? I'll bring it right to you. Personalized shipment, you know what I mean? Still not really catching up with this guy. We're slowly gaining on him. We're coming up to a small town here. I gotta go around the north side of the town and he's gonna go right through past the south side of the town. I guess we'll see where we're at when we're on the other side. We got past the section of automobile train cars. Now we're at a little further up the train where they got all these containers. Who knows where these containers have been, eh? It's sort of like dollar bills. You never quite know where they've been. You might not want to know. But here they are, passing through the prairies on their way east. This train will go into Winnipeg and probably you know, drop off some train car, drop off some trailers, pick up some other ones and continue east maybe? I don't know. No idea. Maybe it's going all the way to Toronto. Maybe it's going all the way to the east coast in Nova Scotia. Who knows? I don't think it would go all the way to Nova Scotia because that'd be a long way for a train to go. If these containers are going overseas towards the east, what they'll do is they'll bring them to uh, either Thunder Bay and take them across the Great Lakes through the canals up to St. Lawrence or they'll take it to Toronto area, maybe uh, Quebec City and it'll be put on a ship from there and brought up to St. Lawrence and out into the Atlantic from there. I think, don't quote me on that, but I mean that's what I would assume would be the easiest route. We got ourselves a, a grain bin. No, the bottom of a grain bin. Would that be a grain hopper? That's what the bottom of a grain bin is? Up in front of us here. That's a wide load. That'd be fun to pull. Okay, I think they're signaling me to come past. If they don't want me to pass, this follow vehicle will block me. not telling me to stop, not signaling me not to pass, so I'm gonna give her. He's on the radio with that truck in front of him with the wide load. So that truck knows I'm coming. He can see me with his mirror though. 
I'm gonna try to squeak past you here, buddy. Oh yeah, he's moving over for me. There we go. I'm gonna get onto the shoulder here a little bit, give him a little bit of extra room. Check that out. Give him a wave. Thanks, bud. That's why they have paved shoulders, or one of the reasons. Another reason why you shouldn't park on the paved shoulder, all right? Imagine if there was a car parked on the shoulder on either side there, and uh, it was around a bend, and neither of us saw it until we were around the corner, and we were already side by side. And then there was someone parked on the side of the road there, you know, checking the map checking their phone on a phone call. You know, if you want to pull off the highway, that's cool. You should pull off the highway to use your phone or check the map. I would just say pull completely off the road altogether. Like find another road to get off the actual highway. Don't just park on the shoulder. I, I think in the US and in Canada on an actual freeway, like this isn't a freeway, this is just a highway, it's the Trans-Canada. But it is actually illegal to park for no reason on the shoulder. It's dangerous. You could die. So, coming up ahead here, there's like a little road, little side road turning off. There's a truck waiting there for the train. You can just pull off onto one of those roads, or even into the median here. There's a a road that goes right through the through the Trans Canada here. Just get your vehicle completely off the road and the shoulder, and you don't have to worry about getting struck by traffic. Right where that truck is, there. That's, that'd be good. You guys get what I mean though, right? It bothers me when I see people just parked for no reason on the shoulder of the highway. I'm always scared they're gonna get just schmucked. Oh, we made it. Here in Winnipeg, just west of the city. One last fuel up. Let's see if their DEF pumps work today. It seems to be a little bit warmer today. It's about minus 13. Let's see if any of their pumps actually work. Man. They're almost all blocked off. I think this first one over here is open. There we go. We'll see if the DEF pumps are still frozen. Probably. I'd like to fuel that up too if I can, but I might have to go to Petro Pass for that. There's no signs saying that there's no DEF, but it may just not work. Drop my trailer off. I've got to take this truck to the shop on Monday, so I've got to keep it close by. Remember uh, when I went into Ontario to pick up that wide load and I didn't have the right permits and they told me not to assume? <laughs> I, was, I was a little ticked off at the time. What do you mean don't assume? Don't assume I have the permits. Uh, that was my friend in the office there. I went and talked to him today. We we're joking around about it. And, uh, you know, it was a mistake of mine. I should have, should have known, should have asked. You know, like, I only make a mistake once, usually. I always promise to try to do my best. I will always do my best job. And everything I do, I will do it to my best ability. But I can promise you one thing. I promise you I'll make some mistakes. But at the same time, after I make a mistake once, I'll learn from it and I won't do it again. So this last time I went into Ontario, I almost got into a snag without a permit for the load and I might have had to wait there or you know backtrack find a different lesser paying load but we were able to make it happen next time I go there though we talked about it today next time I go I'll know and I won't make that mistake again everything worked out this this time but you know it could have been that everybody lost out because I assumed and they assumed everybody assumed I guess that's my little lesson for you guys today. Do your best in everything you do. Whatever kind of work it is that you do, do your absolute best job, but also realize that you're gonna make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I shouldn't say all the time. I make mistakes more often than I'd like. One mistake is one more mistake than I'd like to make. But when you do make a mistake, make sure you learn from it. Even for you kids in school. You know, I made tons of mistakes when I was young. Tons of mistakes. I told you before, I had a heavy foot. I played way too many Need for Speed Xbox games. 
and I got my license and then I got a few speeding tickets back then. Those are all off my off my record now and uh, they were more than what 15 years ago now but I haven't gotten one since then because I learned my lesson. I made a mistake, I paid for it and I didn't do it again. That's the biggest thing you can take away from anything in life. Don't get down on yourself because you do screw up. Just pick yourself back up. Do better next time. I'm taking this truck right to the gym. We're going, we're arriving to the gym in style. I'm bobtailing, so I have no trailer behind me. But I'm gonna swing by there before going home. Otherwise I gotta go all the way home, get all comfy, and then go all the way back into town, go to the gym, just to go all the way back home again. I won't be in there long, probably just an hour or so. I should still be home before supper. Probably just before supper, but just in time for the good stuff, right? I'm hungry. I don't know about you guys, but when I leave the gym, I'm starving every time. I just realized something. about 3.30 right now, and I think the gym is probably about to get very busy as everyone goes there after work. Hopefully I get in there before they all do. Eh. I don't mind if there's people in there, it's just if all the machines are being used, then I'll just go another time when it's not as busy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll have parking there for me. Oh yeah, my spot's still open there. Okay, good. I should be able to fit in there. Actually, I could probably even park in the back there. One second here. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna go park over here. Then I'm out of the way for everybody. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn around and back right in here where I'm facing. Too much space in here yet. Looks like someone drove right over this hill here. Must have been a tractor. This is the gym here in front of me. You see it's two stories tall. No other Snap Fitness that I've been to around the country yet or the US have been this nice and this big. Actually, well the one that I was at in Edmonton, I mean yeah in Edmonton there, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't quite as nice, but there was two levels there. There we go. Parked, I'll be out of the way. No one's gotta worry about the big truck taking up all the space. There we go. There's a girl dancing in the cold. <laughs> she's got her headphones on, she's just going. Little Caesar's advertising. <laughs> <laughs> and she notices people are watching and she goes even crazier. <laughs> Britt always starts dancing with her in her car when she's here. <laughs> Everybody go buy pizza at Little Caesars. They actually got pretty good pizza. And they dance for you too, so you have to buy it. Seeing other people having fun like that just makes me smile. Time to go home though. I had a good workout. I'm pretty tired now and I'm hungry. Wonder what we're gonna have for supper. Maybe I can make Brit something. Chevy, did you miss me? Diesel, everybody missed you. Everybody. Not me. You didn't miss me at all? No, I didn't miss him because I got to keep him. Oh. I missed you though. <laughs> Everybody missed me except my wife. She was fine. <laughs> no, I missed you lots. So, check this out. <gasps> oh, look at it in the light. It's even better. Oh, the way the light glistens off the chicken and the peppers and the pineapple and the rice. What else is in there? Broccoli? Cauliflower. 
cauliflower. Diesel. It's gonna be so good. I might let you lick the plate if you're a good boy. That doesn't mean you get to share my food. <laughs> Here, you can sit with me. You're allowed. Yes. Just this once though. Yes, because I was a good boy. That's right. All right. My food, her food, TV. Well, we're not gonna watch the Umbrella Academy though. We're gonna watch a movie. Movie? Yep. Something about King Kong or Godzilla? Godzilla? No. Uh, Kong Skull Island, I think, came out. Cool. Also, they have strangers. Oh night. my. Let's do something slightly less gory, as there's a skull in the background. He looks angry. Let's do it. I'm scared. Chevy, what are you doing? Eating his leg. He's hungry. <laughs> I got hungry.